Okay, great. The live just let me share my screen. So kindly let me know whether I am visible and audible and the screen is there. Drop in a message in the chat. I have temporarily disabled the mute thing for every one of you. Screen visible, I'm audible. Okay, great. So uh, welcome to free group webinar number two for 2021. This is on finance and the topic is streamlining your financial life. So as usual, all my presentations will always begin with thanking the Lord Almighty who's given me much more than what I deserve. And when it comes to finance, I have to thank my dad as well, who has been instrumental in teaching me clinical finance, uh, which I'm sharing with you all today. Good to see 29 of you today in this. So this is my brief biodata. You all are aware of it already. So today's topic, finance for doctors, not dentists only for doctors. Since this session later on next month will go on YouTube as well. So uh, streamlining your financial life, make your life easy. That is the bottom line for today. So approximately 65 to 70 minutes of presentation and then we'll take up any questions if there are. So I've temporarily muted you all. So if there is any problem, you can um, message me in the chat box. That chat box is open with me, but uh, kindly bear with me for the presentation. This is actually in the mode of 2010-20. Since the flavor uh, of the season currently is IPL, so I have tried to keep it 10, 10, 10 or 20, 10, 20. So you'll get to know what I'm talking about in a few minutes from now. So the topic is streamlining your finances, managing your finances, arranging your finances, whatever you can call it. So if managing money was easy, uh, we would actually have a cakewalk. Frankly speaking, uh, doctors are very naive about this aspect. They don't actually are also not very serious about it. So finances does not mean only managing your mutual funds and managing your bank accounts. It is a lot uh, more than that. What exactly? The budgeting part, saving part, investing, your clearing of your loans, your financial goals for your future, for your, for your family, for your kids, for your kids' education, their marriages and all, all these, when you sit down and start thinking, it can all be so overwhelming sometimes. And sometimes we actually complicate things for us many a times and we believe ki kamana achha hai sambhalna ya usko jodna ya usko grow karwana to bahut hi mushkil hai so let it be a financial advisor's choice we, we start uh, doing it in a manner for sometimes uh, say hiring a financial advisor without a background check without the knowledge that what uh, uh, what benefit is going to accord us and we actually go about the task but then we need to understand that uh, so today's presentation is all about the KISS principle. Keep it sweet and simple. So that is what is my aim would be today. So before we actually start talking, there are a lot many things. As I said, it is a composite of uh, multiple facets. Your personal budget, your payments, your savings, your investments, all those things. How to actually make them on a path. And then there are so many strategies which you can uh, take advantage of when you want to actually say streamline your finances. And when we talk, uh, we say that uh, sometimes we can manage our things by lack of paperwork. Paperwork actually sometimes complicates things. And uh, trust me, a e method or a simple method can always uh, help in managing the uh, accounts or the savings or the budgeting part much better. The only thing is ki agar aap us system ko easy banayenge, if you make it very easy and simplified, it will be very easy to manage your money overall. And it is always better also when you 
बैंक अकाउंट अगर आपका है अगर ऑनलाइन बैंकिंग नहीं है आपके पास इमेजिन हाउ डिफिकल्ट इट इज एंड आज बैंक की छुट्टी है कल बैंक की छुट्टी है बैंक इतने बजे बंद हो जाता है इतने बजे मेरा पेशेंट है ऑल दोज थिंग्स दोज कम इन टू दोज कम इन दो इन दिचुएशन दैट वी आर जस्ट एक्सक्यूज मी फॉर अ मिनट प्लीज sorry for the break so the whole idea is to actually simplify those things so that we actually love to talk love to manage love to arrange love to do those things which actually are handling our finances so as we i was talking ki agar online banking nahi ho then you will find it difficult bank ka lunch time ho gaya you have a patient subah time hai to bank abhi khula nahi hai 9 baje all those things imagine the reverse when you have a online banking and i would actually i am shocked to find that so many colleagues many of them have uh, contacted me they don't use online banking still not because of the obvious reason they feel safe nahi hai paise chori ho jayenge again you have to understand that uh, there is a risk in everything but it does not mean it is not a market linked product that net banking would automatically mean that uh, you are actually being robbed of your money so remember these things are very very difficult if you make them difficult for yourselves they are very easy if you think that ways if you improve your uh, management if you improve the way you talk so just a click of the mouse or even the swipe of the finger on your phone you can actually do a better job and i want to actually make a couple of things clear here simplifying finances does not mean that you have to cut on your budget yes it is about uh, knowing your budget where your cash outflow is where your cash inflow is but it is not exactly ki aap apna jeena chhod de what i mean to translate it in that one line but that then it is not a bad idea if you actually come across uh, the details of your budget you'll get to know that yes maybe you are overspending on certain trivial items which you don't want to or which you should not actually so a lean budget would not mean always that you lead a frugal life or maybe a life of a pauper no you are not supposed to you have to live within your means that should be the bottom line aim and actually we when we focus on our finances we actually can lead the life the way we want because we have a clearer picture in our mind kahan hai kahan jana aur kitna hai aur kitna kharch hai all those things so because why do i say so zindagi waisi chhand ho rakhi as they say since the past one year plus cuts see the covid times we are not actually uh, colleagues often mention sir piche unlock ho gaya tha sara kuch september october ke baad till december january february tak theek tha lekin phir bhi suffocated life hai you actually don't have a freedom kabhi lockdown lag jata hai kabhi raat ki restrictions lag jati hain we all know that and all those things we already had in our life covid has added a lot more things to that sometimes uh, one of my patients was saying today doctor 8 baje ke baad kuch karne ko nahi hota hai kya kare tv dekh lo jyada se jyada walk kar lo that's it we also have a curfew from 9 to 5 uh, but then uh, all those things added uh, covid to that added decreased patient flow to that added decreased income to that and handling of your money will actually add to the burden a bit more so you need to understand so this was all about the prelude to today's presentation so let's get going on the further aspects which the topic is all about so streaming lining will basically lighten everything and the thing is that you can actually divide your task into two parts you can have a specific action for example if you are not investing you will get a clearer idea ki yes mereko itne paise bache hue hain the money is lying idle in my uh, in my bank account or with me let's get it going let the money earn more money for me 
or maybe i don't need this much amount of money uh, i have sufficient enough to save for an emergency let uh, me do that because the money which is lying with you in your bank may be giving you a peanut amount especially most of the colleagues are keeping it in nationalized banks or maybe in low earning private banks as well like hdfc excess so uh, you need to understand that you need a action direction and of course yahan pe badla in the top floor of your body a little bit mindset tweak you have to understand that there are so many things which are actually part of your mindset which do not let you venture into those unheralded territories which can give you returns we still have the mindset nahi real estate to paise deke jayegi uh, keep watching till the end i'll give you a tip on that in the end uh, then fd byaj mein paisa secure hai market ka kuch nahi lena market mein paisa doob jata hai all those mindset there are many amount of uh, large number of fallacies which i've already taken up many times i'll i'll be uh discussing a few today as well partly in a different tone different uh, say equation but uh, if you stay tuned you will get benefited so you actually have to stop reacting to that one of the behavior econo- economist uh, richard thaler says ki newspaper mein kuch bhi finance economic section mat padho sirf sports section padho because politics is boring and uh, economics can be uh, market actually jo hoti hai na जो स्टॉक मार्केट है या वट एवर लिंक प्रोडक्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स दे वर्क ऑन सेंटिमेंट्स एक बुरी न्यूज आई सेंसेक्स हजार पॉइंट गिरे गए एक अच्छी न्यूज आई अच्छा बजट आया बजट इज अ प्रपोजल एक्चुअली विच इज गिवन बाय द फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर यूजली ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ फेब एंड विच इज टू बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अप्रैल बिफोर दैट इट हैज टू बी पास इन द पार्लियामेंट विद एनी अमेंडमेंट और एनी डिबेट और डिस्कशन ऑन दैट स्टिल ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सेंटिमेंट्स the market kept on rising for 3 to 4 days uh, this time about 5 to 6% growth but then uh, again this is the part of sentiment so you win some you lose some so in general the time you actually spend trying to make the best decisions will not always pay off sometimes we try to compare the figures and the numbers we understand the basics that is the primary key there are a lot of videos on finance for doctors finance for dentists on my youtube channel i'll give you the link in the end most of you already know it and it is a series from basics 1 to 10 covering all very different aspect so figure out the things you actually want to control and then organize the systems so uh enough of the prelude and the introduction let's uh, come to the real uh, time uh, real real points a few questions are you doing enough isn't finance a bit complicated that we leave it to a ca or a financial advisor shouldn't we get some help mehanga hoga if the finances are in disorder i don't have the time to set it right because i have too many patients you need to ask yourself what is your priority even if you hire a financial advisor or a ca you still have to supervise and you can only supervise if you have a knowledge at least the basic knowledge and trust me what i have been doing in the past 4 5 years i am just trying to impart the basic knowledge i never talk high five stuff because i know the way i have learned certain things in the clinical finance or in the basics uh, of many things these things will actually be very important for every one of us if uh, every one of us is this much financial literate that whatever your ca or your financial advisor is doing that you get a knack of that that ye karna sahi hai ya nahi hai trust me you will not have any problems about that and that sometimes uh, the research has also shown it that if you think about a thing too much you actually make it uh, bigger hair and once the thing is bigger in your head the physical uh, size is even uh, much bigger than that so you can actually sometimes fool your brain into believing that kaam ho jayega wo kar lega handle i'll do it or maybe he will do it for example uh, जो वेट टॉक वेट लूज की बात करते हैं कि ये डाइट मॉडिफिकेशन कर लो आपका वेट इतना कम हो जाएगा इट डज अकम्पलिश बट वेरी लिटिल समटाइम्स कई बार जंग शुरू करने से पहले हम लोग हार जाते हैं सो अंडरस्टैंड दोज हैक्स और ट्वीक्स व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू पुट टेन बिकॉज दीज वर द क्वेश्चन आई विल बी आस्किंग यू फ्यू क्वेश्चन अगैन एज ए सेट टेन 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 ट्वेंटी टेन ट्वेंटी विल गेट टू नो 
so the number one tip for streamlining your finances is get organized have a separate file folder in your bank in your uh, say in your physical way or in your online way whatever way you want to where you want to actually store your bank credit card any utility bill payment and we all know there are so many bill payments just to name a few electricity bill water sewerage telephone wifi pollution control board property tax professional tax at least in punjab we have it cable bill any ott subscription any emis for both your home and clinic majority of them are for your home and clinic as well then separately for your clinic your lab bills your dealer bills there are so many categories and the biggest of them all the income tax returns so all these need to be organized if you are financially literate your act, your family members also need to be aware of this thing then automation automation is the need of the hour you can't remember everything you are bound to forget certain things so it is always better to set up automatic bill payments add a biller in your bank account obviously you need a net banking for that so that money is automatically deducted from your bank account most of the banks will allow the setup to be done in such a way that you can do it automatically and it actually eliminates of writing and mailing your checks or uh, as they do in foreign countries or even uh, here as we make some payments via physical mode as well so and there is a big risk of um, check getting uh, getting misplaced not for that it will be lost uh, uh, it will do a monetary loss if it is a cross check but uh, what will do is that sometimes it will cause you late payment charges or delayed payment charges so these are the extra amounts if you are, have a automation so you need to understand that you cannot uh, forget those things which are mandatory we pay a lot of bills in a month all of us as i gave the list in the point number 1 you can't remember all so every one of you must be missing something or the other so better to get a hold over it then review your priorities again covid times discounted let's talk about journal life what is your hobby other than dentistry of course traveling reading and what is your focus of spending do you want to say explore new places so it is always good ki budget bana ke rakhe and and you make sure that uh, you love to spend on the things you like so that you are aware that where your money goes and sometimes we really again the commonest problem kamaye to the paise is month mein lekin gaye kahan pe we actually don't know then stop paying for the services you don't know use point number 4 so having a choice is a good thing but sometimes we have too many on our plate we really don't have time for that ott or the tv is a perfect example hundreds of channels so many um, subscriptions netflix z sony live amazon and the list is endless especially after the movies stopped releasing a couple of them released in march this year uh since the past uh, 13 months now the last movie released was on 13th of uh, march uh, before covid practically with a full release um, hindi medium irfan khan's last movie so uh, that was the and again a punjabi movie still hasn't come on ott but then uh, those uh, times have changed and actually we got hooked to ott or maybe some of us love uh, daily soaps uh, they watch but how many channels especially after the uh, say buffet system of channels has come you can actually pick and choose you can cut down i'll give you a very small example uh, of a thing a couple of years back uh, we were actually having uh, uh, idea vodafone idea plans vodafone tied up with idea idea was used to be spice then it turned into idea and uh, it was taken up by idea and then vodafone idea got merged uh, we were having idea plans i shifted to airtel we were having huge plans and trust me uh, even after that uh, we didn't have good amount of signal on first floor as well and i just calculated the amount of money i was paying so i shifted those to jio in that time just to give you an example it actually downsized my monthly bill by when i calculated in totality by 10000 rupees uh, uh, sorry the annual bill by 10000 rupees you can say uh, monthly 1000 rupees ka farak pada sir 
not a big amount, eight hundred rupees. But then small leaks can sink a big ship, as we always say. So if you are not paying for, if you are not using any service, you are paying for that. You can review that and cancel if you don't uh, actually use that. Lot of bills and services can be cut because unless you are aware of these things, you cannot know about it. So. in covid times you need to remember that this is a luxury we don't need to afford always we have to give dedicated time to our clinic as well because we know that the patient flow is at various places there's a lockdown instruction uh, restrictions are there in place uh, it is actually trickling down the opds have actually thinned down at many places so uh, do those things do those calculations again as i mentioned about the energy in the telecom bills the power sector and the telecom bills in maharashtra you have a power, uh, say um, say option of selecting your uh, energy operator as well in many states usually it does not uh, is it is not available but then for telecom if you are paying extra and uh, comparatively lower plans are available you can switch over to that so make a deal about it unless you are bound in a yearly or a monthly or a bi or whatever contract it is or a deal sometimes then uh, the fifth most important point related to the point number 4 only minimize your spending but again as i said don't cut on your daily life it is just about buying less how you can keep yourself actually say not being lured to certain aspects which uh, you would like otherwise so uh, if you want to uh, say uh, splurge too much money or you want or you're fond of shopping and you go to a shop and say splurge money at the says drop of a hat then you need to actually restrict yourself think twice before you make any such purchase then the number 6 point is clear your cards credit cards as soon as possible we all know they can be useful they can actually sometimes help us stretch our spending power they can actually help us buy gadgets on emi at 0% many of the times especially during festivals <coughs> excuse me so pay them off don't pay the minimum payment pay the full amount keep for emergencies but don't uh, carry too many cards do not get tempted to splurge even on small purchases do not flash out your credit card as a status symbol keep them minimum then my most favorite point become debt free debt will not only cost you money it actually complicates your life because you have to forego certain things of your life to pay off your debt but sometimes people are fond of taking debt pichla loan bhi khatam nahi hua to uski char kisten teen kisten padi hoti hain people going for buying or taking another loan in the name of growth and expansion really ask yourself too many loans can actually eat up into your future investment your future should be secure need to remember that one debt that you eliminate will eliminate one complication of your life trust me i am not i am not exaggerating it so i will always advise everyone to get out of debt asap as soon as possible yes sometimes the loan is bigger especially the housing loan time kinds but then if the housing loan is bigger the term uh, the duration is also bigger and it does not hurt you much as well because it is a lifelong investment in that sense but for the other especially the personal loans or the weaker loans pay them off as soon as possible you have to plan for it and unless you plan you cannot uh, get out of this trap or cycle then invest in funds rather than individual stocks one of the colleagues actually messaged me in the evening i would name of course he said kindly suggest me a good course to study about stock market i said why answer me my first question always is a why don't mind but i am to getting enough from dentistry so i am getting it enough but i really want to grow fast again a misnomer sometimes it can be rewarding but it is cumbersome tacky messy also most of the times har din aapko research purchase and track you have to sell these things have to be done and if there are multiple you actually spend a good amount of time one of my uh, colleagues in my town recently developed a uh, say 
say flavor for i'll say for daily trading used to ask me a few times how do you resist yourself he said aaj main 10000 loss mein chala gaya agle din maine usko pura to kar liya lekin kam pura kiya why mera patient aa gaya tha agar main thodi der aadha ghanta aur ruk jata to wo khata par mere ko tha aaj account maine equal karke jana hai abhi main sirf 2000 loss mein hu your focus shifts actually sometimes trading is a daily based job and stocks are not like that you invest in 1990 or 2020 and they will grow to huge amounts in 2040 it does not happen with every stock there are so many examples of the stocks uh, there was a stock named educomp solutions it used to be 1200 something about 10 years back now it is 3 rupees or 4 rupees don't remember the exact amount the lower amount but it is in the range of less than 10 only imagine the fall yes there are short shot winners like uh, hdfc and bajaj so many else as well but then this is a cup of tea which you should say try to drink or even sip if you are bored from dentistry if your peak time of the day your 9 to 3 goes into your dentistry or 9 to 2 at least kindly don't don't develop a chaska for it i'll i use the word chaska especially so the best way is you can either opt for etfs or mutual funds because you can actually dedicate your consolidated or you can say disciplined sip investment to that index funds may also be good they are actively managed and they actually can perform the index uh, um, say outperform the market most of the times but then uh, even funds are simpler when you have to file your tax return now even for the stocks the government has made it easier cut see the capital gains will be reported by the company itself or the your say uh, amc itself but then all those stocks will have lot of tax related documentation and actually will raise your cost as well otherwise point number 9 get rid of unnecessary mutual funds and edfs if you have lot of them as i told in a video yesterday only mutual fund kitne hone chahiye jitne aapke bacche again giving the example of a nuclear family these days you have one to two children so say you have a mutual fund does mutual funds from maybe one or two publish uh, say fund houses again that is just to explain that what i mean to say you why that is that you don't have 20 mutual funds with you have a few selected 2 3 3 4 5 6 max not beyond that because otherwise you will be tracking them every morning aaj itna gira market to itni giri thi lekin fund mera utna fund zyada gir gaya all those things then you need to realize that there are some of the overrated funds which we call as the actively managed funds sometimes which actually are giving lesser returns then yes uh, this point comes from me which uh, i used to have a say difficult uh, answer to a uh, question to ask uh, uh, sorry difficult answer to give whenever somebody asked me this question but for small purchases i would always say pay cash today in today's times yes it has its advantages and the contrary you avoid getting the receipt your you can track your expenses easily but debit and credit card will actually make your tracking part difficult chote chote purchase ke liye if you flaunt and purchase that if you spend something on the daily needs you can do it via cash purpose only we all know how difficult the system is now getting especially after uh, the 28th of march 2021 just about 15 days back when people received notices from income tax that was just a trailer lot uh, much uh, you can say the movie is about to release for financial year 1920 sorry 20 2021 the records will be updated soon so try to simplify your simplify your financial life by making small purchases in cash you shouldn't be bothered about paying everything from your debit and credit card so these were the 10 tips so i hope your battery is not down 
and you are not bored of your tips because once i start sharing the tips part the next question is i want to ask you a few questions again 10 of them and which will actually rekindle your interest if you are getting bored but if you have answers for them i'll not be giving you much answers but if you have answers to those 10 questions you will enjoy the second half of the movie which is also known as tips which will also be 10 in number so 10 10 10 or 20 20 approaches there as well so after these 10 tips let me ask you precisely 10 questions so are you earning enough if you don't have an answer over your finances uh, answer to that question you will surely have no control over your finances because spending habits and unexpected situations will determine how your money is used agar kamaoge nahi to invest kahan se karoge so the primary thing is dentistry which is giving you bread and butter you need to earn from that and invest from there people try to do the reverse yahan se thoda kamaya market se zyada kama lo the truth sometimes is when people say sir paise hi nahi hote invest kahan se kare paise tabhi honge agar aap apne profession ko dedicated rahoge work for full time in your clinic irrespective of uh, say keeping in mind the restrictions whatever you have in your state currently even if you have lesser patients if you have no patient for a few slot slot keep sitting in your clinic because that is going to give you money trust me our profession is very powerful it has the power to give you a month's income more than month's income in 7 days flat so even if you stay say free for 3 weeks in your clinic you can earn your average monthly income in one week this comes from my 21 plus years of experience so you must have some balance in your bank account wo kamaoge tabhi aayega because we all might have some unplanned spends so if you are earning enough if not please check that and find a way to do better for that hopefully my practice management videos will come handy for you which are there on youtube and from starting from 2nd of may a huge number of webinars are have been already scheduled you can check out my youtube channel they'll be coming for you and those are the topics which uh, have never been taken up anywhere those will be the first time uh, uploaded they they have been already taken up and i've uh, uploaded the videos as well so then do you save regularly saving is a habit which we need to develop which everyone does not have you need to do that i have given the budgeting principle uh, 50 30 20 the standard principle followed also the bhavdi formula going by my name 45 15 14 in my various previous uh, webinars so you can check out any of those along with the principles of fire financial independence and early re retirement along with the most important again principle given by me the alternate trip retire retirement investment planning before you actually rest in peace alternate trip before you rip so if you are not saving you have to do that you have to do that regularly see for any habit also for any purpose also for any goal also for any growth also consistency is one key regularly doing disciplined activity exercise webinar dentistry saving investment all these things warrant a dedicated and a disciplined investment and it is one sign also that you don't cross the line of over expenditure as well because if you are not saving you will not make much of progress let it be any amount whatever you have decided if this month i'll save 10000 what it whatever it is do that if you can do more beyond your committed uh, amount very good but if not then you really need to uh, ask yourself why then again a question already given in the tip but this is in a different form are you free of debt 
some may feel that this is not a very important goal the uh, security by a steady and adequate income makes it easy to pay off your emis easily because the loans are easily available to most of the people people upgrade their cars their houses their homes and actually do that very easily when it comes to paying it back there lies the problem so you need to understand that at some point you actually have to cross the bridge where using your not which the money which is not yours yet it might not be necessary to do that this line i also used in the previous tip credit is spending of tomorrow's money today if you are having debt you are actually say taking out whatever amount you are paying in your emi you are taking that amount out of your future investment the money which can grow you are actually making the bank grow by that money one of my batchmates he is a big corporator now dentist of course so he has a franchisee of schools as well so in the past uh, uh, 20 2019 i happened to he called me up for a lecture to motivate his students so he he said uh, after the lecture we were say having a stall in the park and i was just uh, going around the school premises he said यार मेरा लोन बहुत ज्यादा है मैं यहाँ पे इन्वेस्ट करता हूँ मेरे एक प्रोजेक्ट खत्म नहीं होता आई स्टार्ट एंड अनदर वन एंड माय डैड ऑलवेज करसेज मी कि तू कमा रहा है और बैंक तेरे पैसे पे खा रहा है सो दैट वन लाइन होल्ड्स गुड हेयर एज वेल सो यू एक्चुअली बैंक्स फील हैप्पी टू गिव यू लोन एंड यू फील हैप्पी बट देन यू नीड टू एक्चुअली आउट ग्रो योर दैट यू हैव दैट फ्री मनी which you can use for your growth and expansion growth and expansion is not bad at all but doing at someone else's cost definitely is you need to grow at your own expense that is the bottom line then the fourth do you have assets beyond your home we all have home most of us we actually keep have aim of ek property mere naam pe bhi honi chahiye if it is an ancestral house you are a say only uh, child of your father or maybe uh, you have a sister as well who is married off in a good family and uh, obviously the ancestral house will come to you only by default you believe so and should usually happen but if wo dimag mein hota na satka hota hai to papa papa ji ka diya hua paisa hai ya papa ji ka diya hua ghar hai ek ghar mera mere naam pe bhi hona chahiye we actually going for the real estate ke jaal mein hum tab phaste hain then you need to understand prioritization if it is important in practice management in other spheres of life in management otherwise it is important in owning assets also provident fund tax saving some stocks some funds we need to have a balanced portfolio as i say never put eggs in one basket that means you should have varied investments so that you can actually beat inflation or at least be equal to that so people actually want to retire with the house and a paltry amount of investments we actually need to understand that sometimes real estate i i told you i'll give you one tip for the real estate at the end real estate sometimes they'll not give you returns when you require so then do you have equity assets people confuse equity with stocks mutual funds are are also part of equity majority of them they are lesser of other instruments than equity yes there are debt instruments there are balanced there are hybrid ones there are lot many other other as well but equity are in abundance so do not uh, compromise your wealth about losing money equity is the one of the short short ways yes comes with an inherent risk but yes who said you to uh say invest your 100% in equity again a balanced portfolio but definitely if you want to beat infl inflation equity surely is the key so have a, a good amount of uh, portfolio say coupled with equity funds then uh, if you have equity assets have you outgrown the need to trade and churn stock trading might be great pastime bola chaska to bahut acha hai but it is not a good strategy for financial well being and wealth yes if you have a certain amount of adrenal rush 
you still say yes i have some amount of inherent risk taking ability i'll still go for the stock market go for it but then keep a tab on the amount you're doing and you are not going to cross that line and you are not going to feel a pinch of that money dumps it is not like a mutual fund that it will grow back most of the times so equity uh, stocks can sometimes hurt you big time if not handled with great advantage then if you are the passive stock or fund investing types are you holding too much people don't have much of risk taking ability they have sometimes stocks with 50 names 20 funds as i mentioned before you should have a reasonable uh, chunk of portfolio so kai log kya karte hain mere financial advisor ke paas jo hai mere dost ke paas hai wo wale funds le lo wo wale stocks le lo good uh, approach you can have a winner in that time but don't mindlessly go on investing just based on hearsay even if i advise you some funds do your own background check do your homework before investing so then ek wo hota na ye mera pehla account tha jahan pe mereko pehli salary aayi thi those kinds of emotional things market agar sentiment driven hai to hum bhi sentiment driven hai many a times we actually keep stick ye mera pehla mutual fund tha ye mujhe agar grow nahi bhi kar raha i will not mind it kyunki maine apni pehli kamai se ye pehla fund khareeda tha please get over these things these things are not practical in today's time we need to review our portfolio and we should actually say shun away those funds which are not growing there will be always some things which will be doing better but what you control is what you have so if you weed out the losers of your portfolio your portfolio will do well and if you have the discipline to sell what is not working you know you will have a track of your expenses you will have a better track of your expenses as well that yes you can overcome the emotional movements emotional uh, sojourn to actually control yourself in every aspect be disciplined in that then do you actively practice giving once you reach your sense of security many of you would be above 50 50 plus if your future is secured you have good enough to say practice a policy of csr by donating something of course you'll get income tax rebate for it as well i am running a ngo since the with the help of my colleagues since the past 5 uh, uh, years i got uh, associated with them in 2015 but they are running it actually 2012 since 2012 by the name of can fight cancer and my paid group uh, whatever i was running in 19 20 and 21 the proceeds of the paid group go towards that yes i can have a easy way that yes paid group is my uh, way to earn but i am not earning out of it whatever uh, incidental expenditure for zoom or whatever i and minor expenses aside the major chunk goes to that cfc my ngo and i proudly out, uh, uh, say it that i am associated with one organization which is actually doing something for the society and the uh, the in charge or the say leader of our tribe is again my batchmate only uh, from school he is a medical oncologist so he is our group in our group as well so we all need to pay back to the society if we have done our bit there are so many underprivileged there are so many less privileged if you are generous with parting your money you will see that that money comes back to you automatically you need to understand the importance of the same for our staff as well you have to have a larger heart if we ourselves at a stage of a financial comfort if you can afford it please do it then the last question very important if you do you take your money seriously बिकॉज अगर आप नहीं लेते हो तो कोई और नहीं लेगा इफ यू एक्सपेक्ट कि फाइनेंशियल एडवाइजर को पैसे दे देंगे वो सारा कुछ करेगा आई एम सॉरी टू से योर मिस्टेकन इफ द आंसर इज नो यू वी डोंट टेक इट सीरियसली देन स्टार्ट टुडे बिकॉज द न्यू ईयर जस्ट स्टार्टेड ऑन फर्स्ट अप्रैल द मराठी न्यू ईयर स्टार्टेड येस्टरडे ओनली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ गुडी पाड़वा एंड वेरियस अदर फेस्टिवल इन वेरियस पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया सो द न्यू ईयर जस्ट स्टार्टेड there is never too late to start a thing especially when it comes to managing your own money 
So what are the answers you derive from these questions? I gave you 10 tips. I gave you 10 questions to ponder about regarding those tips and the coming up tips. What are the broad answers to this? If you actually haven't thought out that my portfolio, mein, mere investment, mein kya hai, you need to take some step about it. Don't let your money sit idle. Chote chote investments kijiye, but regularly kijiye. And always streamline those processes which works for most of the people that should work for you. And keep the process simple. Don't make it overtly complicated. So, the movie resumes after an interval. The movie named is Tips and Tricks to be continued. I gave you 10 tips. Let's resume for the second half. I hope this is interesting, especially the last few tips. And before uh, that, I want that uh, you all be very awake to all these tips. So tip number 11 is cut down on your goals. We all have goals. We all have sometimes too many of them. But then uh, research or COVID, sorry, not research, but COVID has shown the reality. Many of uh, our dreams has to be downsized now. Yes, it is a reality. And COVID is here to stay. If we say 2020 chala gaya, 2021 bhi chala gaya. Curtsy COVID. So yes, it is better to shrink your goals for the time being. Pick up the ones which are very important and focus on them. Because you have multiple, multiple goals usually are associated with more of money. And the money has now trickled down, has say, is in shortfall comparatively to what it was in a free fall before COVID. So pick up the two goals, pursue them with vengeance. And actually then it is all about Again, the same principle, prioritization. Pick up the ones which are more important, focus on them, and try to fulfill them. It can be any. As well. For us, what brings us most of income? Dentistry. So focus your efforts and time on dentistry. That will bring you more money. My presentations will never tell you to leave dentistry and enter stock market or enter financial arena. I am myself doing eight hours of dentistry till date. So why should I tell you to uh, say, go away from it? If you find me doing indulging in WhatsApp group se sessions, if you find me indulging in uh, Dr. Ajay, there is problem in connectivity. Is there anyone else also having connectivity problem? Aud audio visible audible. Can you drop in a chat message, please? Yes means connectivity problem or is it okay now? Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. So what I mean to say is if I'm myself doing uh, these things and I actually try to, I try to do all these things apart from dentistry. Yes. I have to devote special time for these things. I have to get up early. I have to do things which I like, but these are the things actually I love to do. Uh, Changrani sir will take up all the queries in the end. So you can actually adopt a dual strategy, increase your income and simplify the income earning process of your life. So then be a good boyfriend, schedule a weekly date with your money. And I'm not joking. If you actually devote a weekly 30 to 60 minute time, or maybe regularly, maybe uh, twice a week 
you can actually be dedicated towards managing your money. During your money dates, identify the three key areas you want to tackle. Any three areas you feel. So remember, it is a date. Don't uh, make it too complicated. Find ways to make it funny. If you can't make the date one week, reschedule it. Don't cancel it. Because again, the discipline thing, consistency will actually help you build clarity and confidence. So be a good boyfriend and maintain the date. Of course, I can't say be a good husband. You can't be married to your finances. Even I am not. So why should you be? So then number 14, limit the number of credit cards you use. When we have one, we actually buy or uh, say get, want to get two more credit cards. Yes. Abhi ek visa ka hai, ek mastercard chahiye. Abhi ek uh, American Express chahiye. We, we actually try to flaunt it. You actually make your life complicated. Sometimes it is tough to actually track your number of cards because har ek ki due date statement lag hogi, har ek ki due date payment lag hogi. Achha, isme wo reward points uspe the, isme uspe the, you are actually complicated. There will never be one best thing in the world, even it, when it comes to credit cards. You need to understand whichever is the best one, stick to that. Or if you are too fond of using them multiple times, automate all the payments so that you don't actually lose a track of that. Then which are giving you cashback points or whatever, if you are interested in that, pick up the one which gives you the most. Then point number 15, uh, find it very surprising, but still many colleagues don't use it. Do opt for the online banking. It actually makes your life easier. You can complete your transactions online without going to the bank. Sometimes you're stuck with the patients, but on your laptop, on your PC, you can do uh, say uh, all those transactions within a minute or so. Money transfer, checking your balance, paying bills, whatever it is, you don't need to specially go to the bank. And you actually get an instant access to your money, except for deposit and withdrawal, you can almost do everything. Even the demand drafts can be made online for many banks now. So except for cash deposit and cash withdrawal, you can do everything else. For withdrawal, if it is for your personal expenses, usually the self-employed don't need it. Usually the self-employed don't need to withdraw money because uh, their way of depositing is similar in that sense. So only for deposit, they need to go to the bank, but otherwise they don't, to, don't need to. Uh, if they have to make any payments, they, that those can be made online. If any has to be made cash, they can uh, deduct that amount from the amount they're going to deposit and make a cash payment accordingly. Even for small purchases, even for keeping a pity cash amount. Then consolidation of bank accounts. Some people have too many bank accounts. They may have a different purpose, but if you can track them, control them, manage them, fine. Otherwise, try to consolidate them. All these things will actually streamline your uh, finances, the um, number of tips I'm giving you. And this is actually going to give you a glorified path to money management. Then a regular budget check. Again, this can also be scheduled other than your date. You hopefully, I believe that you all have a budget in place. You know that. And sometimes numbers uh, i was well, mentioned i was lecturing two days back as well in my paid group session so i said that uh, you might be doctors you might be opted for you might have opted for say medical stream in plus one but two things you cannot escape management which is usually considered an mbs genre and numbers which is usually considered a ca or a, a non-medical or a mathematician journey Genre. You can't escape from these two, even if you are a doctor, because these two things will come back to haunt you again and again. So numbers will always help you say measure your growth in management. The principle is very simple. If you can't measure, that means you haven't grown. So you need to regularly check on your budget, any unplanned expenses, any vacations, any incidental charges, any other uh, uh, unforeseen expenses. So if you are not doing that, you're actually disorganizing your finances. So the last three tips, very important. If you think from a individual point of view, put all your account login pages in a favorite folders in your web browser. 
so that they all are in one place. You can access them without having to search for them. Even your family member can do that. Your wife, your children, if they're grown up. So yes, you need to understand bank, credit card, all your billers. If you have added them online, do that in your favorite web browser. Then again, one of the very important things, an efficient means to store password. In one of my presentations on YouTube, uh, I've given the way how to actually say, keep your passwords because many times banks will give you a reminder after three to six months, depending upon the bank that you have to change your password periodically. Only two banks I know that don't let you change your password throughout. Number one is State Bank of India. Number two is Kotak Mahindra Bank. Inka password, jo aapne paanch saal, chhe saal pehle rakha, wohi rahega aaj bhi. Not that it is not safe. State Bank is actually modifying its system. Pehle unho ne CAPTCHA code add kiya. Now they have added a, say, uh, 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 SMS uh, uh, eight digit uh, pin also before you log in. That has happened in the recent, the CAPTCHA code happened in January and the uh, uh, login pin happened uh, in uh, just about in the first week of April, OTP also. So uh, Kotak Mahindra used to have an OTP system, uh, I think about even six years back as well. So then uh, people like uh, banks like Federal Bank, they have a digital uh, physical device, which is known as a 2FA, two uh, second factor authentication. There is a printed uh, code in that. And if you punch it, you have to actually, sometimes the kids might press it. The another code will come after 30 seconds only. So if by chance any kid starts playing with that, so that, that is known as a hard token to FA. So you can resynchronize that on your net banking. You can still log in via your OTP. If you, uh, can't, uh, if you're traveling and you need to make a transaction and not carrying your 2FA along with, which is also known as a hard token, you can still do it. But then make a list of your online accounts, have a user ID and a password, use a common code. Don't write the full password, use a common code. I've given you the example in a previous video. So document them, keep it in a safe place and you need to keep a track of it. This step is very important, please don't ignore. And all your family members, especially your spouse, or anyone uh, close to you, you need, again, you have to be prepared for every kind of such eventuality. If you are, uh, say, not uh, in this world, God forbid, you need to understand that somebody needs to have an access to all these things in your absence. Obviously, these things can be misused. So give only to those, share only with those, especially your spouse whom you trust the most. Then the last tip of the day, once you have done all your streamlining, make a list of all the financial details. I shared a form uh, last year, which uh, actually it was a four page form. All the assets you are having, make a list of that. Keep it in a safe place. Again, uh, they should include all the financial institutions you are dealing with, accounts, phone numbers, telecalling, whatever the passwords login. And because one day this really can make a huge difference to the people who care about you. And uh, don't leave any of such things to chance. Trust me, these can come really handy. Life is very uncertain. You cannot be really sure what lies ahead for all of us. So we arrive at the end of the presentation. What is the summary for today? Have clear goals considering all aspects. So as I said before COVID, if you have five, six goals, now shrink them into one to two focus on them. But if you are lucky, some of us really are, if you're having actually the same amount of money flowing in average amount of money from your clinic, or even some colleagues are having more, then you can continue to do what you're doing. Sign up early with a financial planner if you're not having, and if you don't have the knack also, people are, say it very bluntly to me, sir, we had a math from math, that's why medical liar. Fine, no problem. Hire help wherever you can't. If you can't handle yourself, buy, uh, say, buy the services of a financial planner. Then think out of the box. 
look beyond familiar investments and consider all available options real estate fd ab in cheezon se aage chalne ka you have to move on from these two things these are now passe these are a thing of the past you really don't need to actually bother about it so then uh, the problem is that sometimes our payments schedules balances transfer we get overwhelmed and we lose the motivation to track control of your finances it happens with me many times as well because i have to manage the finances of all my whole family if it was only individual me it is still easy but for every one of them it becomes cumbersome sometimes but then i schedule a proper weekly date i am a good boyfriend in that sense so i schedule a weekly date with my finances so i try to manage them in that manner control your finances or they will start to control you so the best way is to actually make the process easier via automation and scheduling automated payments and scheduling to actually say uh, frequently visiting those things to actually get rid of the unwanted weeds so how to manage your finances if you have to summarize in four steps cash flow awareness budget and track expenses this is part 1 and 1.1 only a portion of that only then building your investment portfolio having enough insurance cover i have two videos coming up on insurance medical insurance and life insurance they are already been scheduled they'll be coming up in the month of may taken up with the paid group we have a actually daily uh, every friday we have a uh, regular chai pe charcha we have the finance session from 8 to 9 every friday in the paid group so then uh, net month uh, net worth visualization what are your assets what are what is your debt what is actually the combination which way you are actually heading is your debt more or is your uh, are your assets more so these four steps are the key to manage your finances and if you say don't have a track of these you are bound to say stay behind so as i said i'll be giving a beautiful tip on the real estate at the end and if you stay i think most of you are staying till the end except a couple of you then uh, people's perceptions about investments don't change easily i said uh, get rid of the say commonest options so we need to learn especially even from others experience the importance of liquidity even today morning uh, i was talking to a colleague uh, one of my good friends he said uh, he has a say problem with his shop so he has to buy another shop in that area so he said i have no problem i have three other properties of course in different areas where he doesn't own the shop i have no problem i can sell them off and uh, i can buy the shop in my area the problem is the old owner where i am currently residing on rent is not giving me much time and the second problem my other properties are not selling off even at 80% cost or 80% of the cost i want and they were easily getting 120% of the current rate 6 uh, months back or oh, sorry 4 months back in january so you need to understand real estate might give you returns again this is again a thing of the past but you sometimes really need the money and real estate will not be give you the money at that point of time and trust me demonetization an event like a demonetization or even as say vyapar mein manda ya uh, bazaar mein manda or this a uh, property mein manda that will actually bring to your mind the risks uh, the risks of illiquid asset it might be giving you good but you might have to sometimes sell it off at a cheaper cost at a discount rather than a premium to get the liquid cash that you desire that you so very desire remember if you sell it at a discount you will still you may get the uh, you may get the payment but selling at a discount means you have to you have foregone some of the growth that you actually used to boast of ki ha meri property mujhe itna paisa deke gayi hai you have to sell it at a discount so remember this point very clearly so the carry home gyan as usual the after the summary the carry home gyan for today 
सो अपने पैसे के लिए दर्द जगाइए स्पेशली आई रिटर्न इन हिंदी फॉर यू कमाना मुश्किल है लेकिन संभालना उससे भी ज्यादा इक्वली मुश्किल है रिमेंबर द टफ टाइम्स यू हैव वाइल अर्निंग वाइल फाइटिंग विद द पेशेंट्स लिटली सम टाइम्स टू गेट आवर बैलेंस पेमेंट्स रिमेंबर द टफ टाइम्स इफ यू हैव मनी एंड स्टिल इट इज नॉट बिल्ट अप ग्रोथ वाइज बट द बॉटम लाइन इज इफ टुडेज प्रेजेंटेशन डज नॉट शेक अप से द 40 ऑफ यू वर देयर अगेन 3 आर लेफ्ट 37 ऑफ यू if you are sleeping and i am not able to shake you up then i'm really sorry that i wasted uh, one or five minutes of your life so these are the steps the moral of the whole story the final segment the moral of the whole story for today steps of financial planning get to know you and setting the scene for your finances your goals and personal objectives your financial options and choices your strategy and plan your implementation of final plan and your re- constant review of the financial situation so thank you so much for your patient hearing i hope i stuck to my yes i did stick to my schedule time of 65 to 70 minutes so this is my youtube channel that i was talking of most of you are already subscribers of this so if you forget uh, the link you can go to youtube and search dr pradeep ohoja do hit the bell icon you will be getting regular videos for the next 3 months there is a lot of content if you really are interested in learning the three subjects so this is my social media presence all by the name of uh, my name only except my page this is my address my contact details you can get in touch with me most of you are already are via my whatsapp groups so do send me your feedback in the whatsapp group wherever you are 1 2 3 4 5 t uh, bookers and brickbats both would be welcome in equal measure thank you so much and i stop my share for taking the questions from you and i'll be unmuting you Just give me a minute. Yes, you can uh, ask one by one uh, any queries. Okay, you're awake. Yes, much more awake. Yeah, thank you. Bolo, you should check out. Ah, teacher, that is fine. Mm-hmm. Keeping a date with your finance surely be a good boyfriend. I always say. so how can a sensible person not be awake yes you all are sensible thank you thank you do put in this feedback in your whatsapp groups as well it it will awake others also up if uh, still many of them are sleeping spouse has to be jealous don't worry so this is because once you grow financially you can buy a diamond necklace for your real spouse so the spouse will not envy your girlfriend then हेलो यस डॉक्टर पोस्ट कोविड डू वी नीड टू इंक्रीज आर इमरजेंसी फंड इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द कवरेज यू हैव व्हाट आई मीन टू से इज दैट इफ योर मेडिकल इंश्योरेंस इज ऑप्टिमम टर्म इंश्योरेंस इज देयर देन यू रियली डोंट नीड टू बी कवर्ड अबाउट दैट बट यस सर वन थिंग आई डेफिनेटली से आई यूज टू से अबाउट अमाउंट for medical insurance to be minimum 5 lakhs i'll urge that to go up to 8 to 10 lakhs with a separate covid cover because covid is here to stay it is not going anywhere till to 2023 surely surely yes it might decrease in virulence it might decrease in the incidence of cases but it is still there for the next uh, uh, say two and a half or quarter to three years surely so i hope uh, you keep a separate covid cover and uh, enhanced medical cover and the regular term plan of course so if you have that your emergency fund of 5 to 7 to 8 depending upon your uh, viability should hold good now with the covid uh, the uh, many people have uh, curtailed their expenses yes sir so uh, a six months expenses which was an earlier formula for emergency fund yeah uh, should i think has to be increased because uh, last year also our clinic was almost shut for more than 6 months and in maharashtra we still have uh, the same situation here yeah sir uh, when it comes to emergency fund i always say the calculations need to be pre covid only okay there are certain aspects as we say average income kya benchmark kya lete hain we always take it pre covid only 
covid has changed many thing majority of us are facing say decrease in income but uh, many some of us are having same and even increased income as well so uh, this can actually yes any more queries sir uh, how much growth in portfolio it's satisfactory i mean uh, some says it's 20% some say it's uh, it should be 25% only the portfolio growth you are talking about uh, the stocks and mutual fund included sir so I, i don't consider stocks growth as such in the portfolio you might have them but i don't consider when it comes to overall growth calculation again uh, the this calculation varies from financial advisors i am not an advisor of course i am a dentist first but then uh, whatever i do i keep the growth parameters from 12 to 15% i keep it modest so that the expect expectations are not overt but the minimum for me should be more than 10% that is my way of calculation Kept keeping optimum twelve to fifteen, minimum ten. The sky is the limit. I can have more because my portfolio consists consists of small cap funds as well. A reasonable one, yes. I don't uh, splurge much on them, but uh, yes, I have some risk taking uh, capacity, so I'm uh, indulging in that kind of system as well. So I don't mind that. So you said uh, during the presentation that you should deal in cash more. Uh, so cash for your small expenses cash for your small expenses so i didn't got the benefit of it i mean it will be uh, See, me, uh, it... as i gave the example i give the example many a times actually the thing is you need to understand that when uh, you bought, bought something in the month of april via your credit card let's suppose you bought a mcdonald burger with that for 237 rupees let's suppose 200 plus 18% tax you will be filing return in the next july 2022 your ca will sit with you and say churn out all the details dikhao credit card ka dikhao kahan ka kharcha wahan se dikhao ye 236 rupees ka kya tha all those small expenses after 15 months you will not be remembering so it is always advisable i i i always encourage in such things that you need to keep small amount for small purchases as petty cash as we call them for not say troubling your uh, uh, credit card or debit card mechanism But yes fair you need a security yes ki meri purchase hui hai wahan pe mereko receipt chahiye ya something a uh, uh, say cashback chahiye ya maybe a where you say can have a uh, uh, credit card you, you can uh, you reverse your transaction you want it there you can go in for that but otherwise for small purchases you can uh, go for other things thanks sir hello sir i have two questions yes sir uh first is uh, in one of your uh, video you told that uh, anyone is having 3 crores uh, amount right now can retire happily can you elaborate uh, that thing that thing was there to imagine the scenario that uh, what growth are you expecting on your money and if you are expecting that uh, if you are having this much amount in today's scenario this much amount is that that was just given as an example if i have 3 crores i can retire happily so what is the amount of portfolio or what is the amount of corpus you are looking at you need to put some end to your figure or you need to some give a figure to your amount whatever you need to that was just as an example but then uh, it uh, another video i have specified the same the number of years you are working and the number of years you are left with considering the average age of an indian is 80 you need to take account of those expenses as well that video will be there shortly as well so you can watch that your doubts will be cleared uh, in that regard aptly yeah that's why i was thinking ki if uh, a person uh, having age of 40 years and having three crores right now but uh, He may be in trouble uh, at the age of eighty years. That's why I ask this to you. Uh, that that is not that was just given as an example. Okay, okay. And second yeah. thing, uh, can you tell me? Uh, see, uh, I'm asking for myself only. Uh, right now, my age is forty-two years, mm -hmm. and uh, I can invest uh, till the age of fifty years because I don't want to practice uh, dentistry for money later on. My 
goals are something different we should give back to society so uh, that is a different part a uh, different totally different story i want to invest for eight years from today and uh, uh, i think this year uh, we are going to face too much problems uh, as in nagpur right now also i am at home we have so many covid patients so <laughs> we have uh, trouble uh, second thing ki uh, if uh, our life expectancy is 80 years and uh, how much uh, corpus we should uh, be targeted because uh, right now my home expenses including uh, school fees and all are uh, around 60000 rupees so can you tell me the corpus That i may be what i said uh, you wait for that video uh, if i able to explain you in one line it will be in doing injustice to that taking a, an account then your total expenses then total uh, keeping in amount the number of years you are living then taking in account all your liabilities or whatever uh, say loans you have the formula the detailed on retirement planning the video is th- there don't worry it will be online already scheduled scheduled it for 2nd of may you can watch the same video on 2nd of may that it okay. clear all your doubts regarding the current query you are having okay okay thank you very much sure. and can you suggest some good funds also <laughs> Already did many times. You joined in late. <laughs> Pura COVID time यही करते रहे पिछले साल. नहीं uh, actually I was uh, going through your Don't worry, I'll send you. Don't worry, I'll send you. Okay, okay, thank you. You said uh, uh, for mutual funds, your ideal growth uh, expectation is ten to fifteen percent. Yeah. What about those funds which are not performing? Uh, when do you come out? Sir. the thing is we actually need to keep a patience with the fund for minimum 4 to 5 years if the fund is not giving you returns of even uh, say the cons- i'm talking about uh, the xir or not the cagr say yeah. if it is not giving you 10% even after 5 years you need to exit out of that fund that is the benchmark i've kept minimum as 10 i keep the growth at 12 to 15 and i easily get above 15 but the 12 to 15 benchmark is that what i have kept mentally for myself okay. that is what is my expectation yes the funds are already giving me much more so what i mean to say is that even if the worst to worst come scenarios happens this is the amount of growth that i should be actually looking at then it has to be again it has to be not a emotional decision people do meri pehli salary se mera pehla mutual fund ya whatever reasons there are so many we actually need to keep sticking to that we need to need to get rid of uh, the, those kind of emotional sentiments but if it is not growing even after 4 to 5 years i'll sell it off what about lump sum investments i'm talking about the lump sum only hmm. for the sip if your sip is for 5 years you need to for uh, you need to wait for another 3 years minimum for the averaging to set in if the sip is not performing if it is really performing very bad even at the end of 5 years the average is not there you can do a, take a decision for the say those funds done at least 2 years back if you if those are having a lock in of 3 years the first 2 years fund will be free of the lock in period you can go in for selling of that sip but for the lump sum only i talked about that 4 to 5 year period but should we right away sell or should we stop the sips first you asked about the lump sum no no i am talking about sip is now okay sip <laughs> my formula is very simple if i keep on tracking them uh, every quarterly if i see that uh, the growth is not happening even after 2 to 3 years i stop the sip after 3 years okay. but i still don't withdraw it after 4 to 5 then i value it again at the period of 4 and a half to 5 years the pro- process which i have been following since about 8 years now so 4 to 5 years ke baad agar mujhe lag raha hai wo growth nahi de raha i sell it off after 5 even with a limited profit of course even at the end of 5 years that should be going some decent profit unless it is a real bad fund okay yeah but uh, some sorry, funds okay. don't perform in spite of uh, being from a good uh, financial uh, they are mo- most of the times actually their their costs are very high their fund managers are very expensive the only reason for many of the good funds not performing from a good fund house the basic reason is this only thank you any more queries then i'll once you finish the queries then i'll be taking the chat box queries so anyone uh, of you wants to ask anything uh, sir your opinion regarding real estate right now i already gave in detail absolutely these are paise now 
These are not two investments I am very fond of. No, but क्या टाइम कल दिखना है हमें कुछ नहीं मालूम है अगर पैसा चाहिए डिस्काउंट पे बेचा तो ग्रोथ तो वी हैव ऑलरेडी फोर गोइंग दैट सो व्हाट इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ दैट इफ वी आर रियली लकी विल गेट इट इफ वी आर नॉट विल श्योरली बी डिसअपॉइंटेड बट व्हाट अबाउट रियल एस्टेट जो uh, 2012 में लिया हुआ कोई प्रॉपर्टी है और एप्रिसिएशन तो अभी नहीं है तो ऐसे केस में शुड वी होल्ड इट फॉर अनदर 2 3 इयर्स और वी शुड एग्जिट व्हाट आई एडवाइज इज कि You know about the market scene की उसका एक हाई कितने पे आया था देर बी समाइम्स एट द मार्केट की कुछ ना कुछ हाई आता है एंड समाइम्स यू गेट अ कस्टमर ऑल्सो फॉर दैट यहाँ बिक रहा है क्लाइंट है खरीदने वाला इफ यू गेट द अपॉर्चुनिटी से सेल इट ऑफ एस्पेशली ये प्रॉपर्टी आई एम टॉकिंग ऑफ इफ यू हैव टेकन ओनली फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट घर लिया सेपरेटली कॉमर्शियल लिया सेपरेटली to rent उट फॉर सेकेंडरी इनकम उनको मिक्स नहीं करना एक प्लॉट रह के रख लिया कि जब दे जाएगा रिटर्न तो उसको बेच देंगे आई एम टॉकिंग ऑफ दैट इन्वेस्टमेंट अगेन दैट आई सेट दैट ये इफ इट इज एज अ सेकेंडरी सोर्स ऑफ इनकम गो कीप से मिल्किंग इट देर इज नो हार्म इन दैट अनलेस यू नीड द मनी रियल बैट बट नाउ इज रेंटल वेरी लेस Sir, uh, we have to understand the situation, unique situation of COVID times. This is actually this is a part of the scenario. We everybody is facing cuts, so there is nothing wrong in in understanding the unique situation we all are in, and this is going to stay at least for this year and next year. Well. Sir, one tricky question. Uh, one of my close friend knows a lot about my finances. He is asking me money on a for on a rent. उदाहरी सिर्फ प्रॉब्लम ये होती है हिंदुस्तान में सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है ना नहीं करनी लर्न टू से नो इज दर्स्ट थिंग और फिर दूसरी बात ये होती है की किसी की अगर ना कर देंगे तो हमारी इमेज खराब हो जाएगी क्या वाई डू वी रियली वॉन्ट टू बॉदर अबाउट दीज टू थिंग्स be very clear financial dealings you should be crystal clear about this and there is no place for emotions in financial life trust me jisne finance ko dil se socha uska beda par right right thank you sir sure any more queries or i take up the chat ones yes hello yeah so i just wanted to ask like it's just a, been an opening to my clinic it's been two years one year has been in covid so i wanted to ask like should we first invest the full amount in ppf and then start sip the sip fir bhi chote amount ki hogi pehli baat dusri cheez uh, it depends upon the total amount you are going to invest for the year if you are going to invest total 1.5 lakh then you don't do everything in the ppf because that will give you a limited growth 7.1% compound kar lo bhi thodi si zyada ho jayegi but then you need to remember the total amount first then segregate it accordingly but what i advise is minimum for everyone a uh, yearly av- monthly average of 40000 or yearly average of 5 lakhs if you have a 5 lakhs then you can segregate that 1.5 lakh in ppf probably 2 uh, to 3 sips of 5000 each uh, making it about 1 like 80000 more 330 maybe 20 to 30 of gold if you can so all those things can be a mixed bag as well okay thank you not to forget the retirement and the nps part nah, it's a little bit diffi- difficult in this situation is right now again depend if i am mentioning 5 lakh that is what i advise if you are doing 3 lakh divide it proportionately Okay, so we don't need to put in one basket at all. No, surely. Uh, PPF not the matter of safety. Yes, it is safe. Uh, no doubt about it. As I put in my video uh, yesterday only, 
it is very safe but your growth will be then limited to 7.1% only currently you never know the miss miss uh, nirmala sitaraman ji uh, they she actually <laughs> reduced it to 6.4 only yeah, it was the that. election mm. next day that she had to re- revert it back on the 1st of april we are touting it as a oversight or a april fool joke for all of us sir thank you sir and a request you know you should actually take a session on that stock market also nahi wo jua hai na jo jue pe main session kabhi bhi nahi lunga nahi nahi not on that just on the basics like mid cap small cap and that nothing else because we never studied it in our yeah, mid cap mid cap and all those things they they are actually not part of stock market there are part of mutual funds i have written a huge series of mutual funds uh you can download the articles from a website the basics of the mid cap and all those things will be very clear to you and uh, 10 more parts are coming next month or rather the end of this month only so a lot to read if you want to uh, sure sure it's on your website yeah in my on my website i've shared the link i'll share the link again thank you okay let me ch- uh, take up the chat queries and then i'll come back to any queries if you have after uh, answering these so dr divya thank you dr ramchandran thank you Dr. Mala Malik, thank you. Dr. Bimal Vasani, yes, financial support plans are very good. Dr. Payan, thank you. Dr. Adarsh, thank you. Dr. Devya, point noted, uh, but don't worry, you'll have a repeat watch. Okay. So, Dr. Krupa, can we have a GS? Uh, we have a GST for our clinic. Can we claim GST for dental material purchase? No, sorry. Uh, even if you have a gst for your clinic you cannot put, claim the input credit for that as of now the healthcare is exempted and the purchases are not allowed to be that uh, so kindly clarify with your ca as well but as far as i know you cannot get a input credit for your gst purchases in healthcare in a, for any kind of materials or equipment whatever dr sudanshu asked for small expenses spend in cash is this to reduce the number of entries or other reasons देखिए नंबर ऑफ एंट्रीज का रीजन तो मैंने बता दिया अदर रीजन यू आर ऑल वेरी अंडरस्टैंडेबल बिकॉज सम अमाउंट वी 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 नेवर विल शो 100% ऑफ अवर इनकम बट वट एवर स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ इनकम वी आर कंसीलिंग दैट कैन बी डन एज स्मॉल डेलीहुड एक्सपेंसेस और वट एवर यूर डेली ग्रॉसरी और वेजिटेबल्स फ्रूट्स और वट एवर स्मॉल एक्सपेंसिज एंड येस वी नीड डोंट नीड टू ट्रेवल अवर डिजिटल मशीनरी फॉर टेकिंग केयर ऑफ सच एक्सपेंसिज सो येस द रीजन इज अदर एज वेल पार्टली but majority the reason is the number of entries surely so dr abhijit asks if we buy two medical claims example main health insurance and additional corona cover then how to submit original documents in both covers in case of reimbursement uh, i didn't get your question actually how to submit original docu- original documents for what the corona cover will cover only the covid advantage the covid only so you need to cover for that only you don't get a two uh, two claims for that unless it is a critical illness coverage number 1 number 2 the critical illness coverage will be uh, is not covering corona at the moment it might uh, undergo a change uh, later but currently it is not covering so for you have to submit the original document only for the policy you are covering you don't get uh, say uh, 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 refund from the or the claim from the medical insurance medic claim for your covid if you are talking about only about covid and if you have mentioned both the things i i think that that is there because the additional covid cover is good enough to take care of your basic expenses in that case okay dr ajay no problem thank you that will be on youtube dr ajay it will be there in a month's time on uh, youtube the links have already been scheduled you can check out the youtube channel all the dates are there along with Dr. Vihangi, yes, uh, stock markets. We, I just gave you the answer. Please suggest a book to understand stock market security. I, I shared lot many books last year. Again, you joined late, so I'll share a books again for you. Uh, can I request for the form that you created to be shared regarding the investments and assets? Okay, Dr. Raghu, I'll share it again uh, in the group. Dr. Divya, I have just opened a clinic a year and a half ago. How can I start financial planning with small steps? Uh, you need to have a few things in order you need to have a ppf you need to have an nps you need to have some sips again it will depend upon the number of coverage you are going to or number of investment you are going to make in a year make sure that uh, you actually 
try to show all your white income because that will give you an extra leeway or extra leverage to invest more. You can't invest in black in today's times. So make sure that you show all your white income. That will make your life a lot easier. Yes, it comes with an in inherent risk, people say, of paying tax. But then it is uh, comes with a big advantage of getting a huge white income. So uh, that should be the first few steps that you should take. The rest you can ask in the group, uh, uh, whatever. At present, expenses are higher than the incomes. But that uh, then you need to make a revisit to your expense sheet that uh, where your expenses are going higher, which of the expenses you can actually cut down upon. As I mentioned in uh, today morning's video of profitability, if you watch that, I hope, yes, you were putting review for that. So I presume that you have watched that. So you need to check that where you are actually committing a mistake. Why are the expenses higher than the income? Yes, I can understand the income falling a bit, but uh, expenses you need to keep a check because you can't have a control over an income, but you surely can have a control over your expenses. But don't worry, uh, clinically good times will come back and uh, Personally, we might not have a totally free life for the next couple of years, but for clinically, yes, the medical ailments and the dental ailments will continue to have that. How to select a good financial plan? Uh, check out the track record, have an opinion from colleagues who are already availing the services of them. Uh, you can ask him to show the portfolio of the clients he's handling. So they'll be very happy to show it off if they have really done some wonders for them. So those are the few ways, but then uh, you need to select a good financial planner only if uh, you're having more income, you're willing to invest and you already have the basics covered. You need to go in for a financial planner when you are having a surplus income and you doing the basics yourself. So remember those points. I hope I answered all. If anybody's query was not answered, please ask again. Yes, uh, any more queries from the group present over here? It's exactly down to half from 38 to 90. Excuse me, sir, I have one query. Sure, Amit. Uh, sir, may, last day of March, I opened the PPF along with Sukanya. Sukanya was a single daughter child. And pen card is my card. So, I'm saying that it's my pen card. So, sir, I have to put my pen card on my daughter. No, your pen card will be. क्यों लगेगा बेटी का कौन से बैंक में गए हो बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा सर वी वी ऑल नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ देयर आर इनकॉम्पिटेंट डॉक्टर्स मेडिकल पीपल और डेंटिस्ट देयर आर इनकॉम्पिटेंट बैंक एम्प्लॉइज एज वेल इफ समबडी आस्क यू फॉर अ माइनर्स पैन कार्ड अनलेस द किड इज अर्निंग एंड द बैंक गाय इज अवेयर ऑफ इट यू रियली डोंट नीड टू अटैच अ थ्री राउंड लगाया और सर फिर मैं भी जितनी मैंने ऊपर में जरूर करूंगा इसी फाइनेंशियल ईयर में मैंने कहा मेरा ही लगा दो कह रहे आपके में शो करेगा इसका इसका पैन कार्ड बनवाओ तो आपके में शो करना चाहिए माइनर का तो आप में शो करेगा अठारह साल तक वॉट इज रॉन्ग इन दैट इट इज एन अंडर गार्डियन अकाउंट ओनली आपके शो करेगा इज नॉट द रीजन टू एस्केप दैट ओके ओके बैंकिंग का सिस्टम सबका मॉडिफाई हो चुका बैंक If the employee is not aware of it, the banking system has been modified. जो सारी income है वो वो major के ही guardianship में show होती है. Okay, मैंने उसके account में transfer करता हूँ और online ही मैं उसके उसे as a gift फिर वहाँ से उसके में transfer कराता हूँ. Yes, you can do that. That is convenient. Okay, okay, okay. He is misguiding me. <laughs> sure. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So I have a question, sir. Yes, Doctor Abu. I have a plan for a medical insurance to be paid at the end of the financial year. Sir, I started in last March. Should I plan for that and keep saving? I'm really worried if I can pay it at the end of the year, uh, the seventy-two thousand as a whole. I started uh, say, segmenting it and started saving six months a month. Should I work it that way, or should I go with the other investments this time and see for that at the end? For the medical insurance? Yes, sir. No, I'm sorry. The health and the medical both together. Yeah. So what is the option you have opted for? Yearly or uh, monthly? The or? medical and the life also, sir. Both, sir. I, I opted for 10-year life insurance, sir, for which I'm paying around 72,000. Life insurance uh, what? Uh, ICSA Prudential, sir. It, it, it won't be term plan, I guess. Uh, till 80 years, sir. Till 80 years? 
80 years. You will pay premium for 10 years. 10 pay. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm splitting that and pay. I'm uh, segregating uh, uh, eight thousand a month for that to pay at the end of the year. See, that is at your end or at the bank end? My end, sir. Okay. Then what is your query in this? I I can I put that in PPF now and look for the uh, money at the end to pay for the insurance. I'm I'm little. I've I've started this new. I'm unable to. I'm I'm finding it difficult to allocate the fund. What is the total amount you invest in a year, approximately? Uh, around uh, a lakh, sir, less than a lakh. Total less than a lakh. Yes, sir. No, sir. For only for the insurances, which no uh, apart from insurance. Apart from insurance, at least two lakhs, sir, including NPS. That is the basic requirement only. One point five plus fifty. Yes, sir. So you're not going anything extra. Yes, sir. Fair. You are a old practitioner now. You yes, should. Sir. I, I startup ke liye I say at least who is five years plus into practice that is the basic amount forty thousand per month or five lakh per year that is the amount you have to minimum do if you don't do that minimum amount then you are not actually making your future secure you are not growing that ways remember that yes sir. so at least I should be working for three lakhs other than uh, life insurance. मैं तो you are at least eight years plus into practice now. Ten. I'm seventeen years, sir. Seventeen. Yes. Seventeen years plus into practice, and you're still putting in two lakh. Yes. Then you are actually doing a wrong to yourself. By now, uh, many things should be clear to you. <laughs> you need to. You need to increase that amount. I, I don't expect that you are having a uh, say lesser income after seventeen years of practice. So you need to. Where does your money go? Real estate. I should work for a short ah. analysis with you. <laughs> <laughs> we love a okay. short session, sir. Pay In the questions session. only lie the answers sometimes. Yes, sir. That is the reason. Yes. Sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yep. Any more queries, or we call it a day? Hello then. It's almost quarter to ten, almost uh, half an hour plus of queries. So kindly do post your feedback in the WhatsApp group, and uh, I see you next week uh, for a session. Surely I'll schedule it and inform you. But yes, surely one of them would be in the morning only. Let's see how many can be early birds to wake up, uh, and that will be a very interesting topic if you're listening. Uh, if you want to listen to that, most likely Tuesday, and the topic would be the dentist and the local lab. on practice management of course so thank you so much for staying uh, and watching i hope you carried home something so do put in your feedback thank you take care good night bye bye thank you sir thank you